All right, so I've whet your appetite. Now you really are interested in real estate investing. We need to fill in each of these six categories. So let's start with the very first one here, your team. And who do you think is the most important person to have on your team, right? I don't wanna give it away. <laughs> Absolutely, you need a realtor. That's what I was pointing at. But specifically, if you want me, that would be wonderful. Um, but you need a realtor as a part of your team. You need somebody who understands property investing, right? You need someone who has either done it before or has taken at least some courses on it. Uh, we used to do this thing called the Graduate Realtor Institute where we would go and we would get trained there. I've also got a lot of property management experience and I know, know there are other realtors that have the same thing um, where we've owned our own properties and such. Um, you need to be working with a realtor because realtors oftentimes are going to see deals and they're going to be gone before you even know about them, right? I've got a list of investors and when a deal comes, I just start calling down my list and the first person to take it gets it. Now you may be thinking, whoa, wait a minute. Why would I ever work with you because you've got this long list and I'll never get a chance to buy one? Would you rather go to a restaurant where there are zero or maybe you're the only one there? Or would you rather go to a restaurant where it is full of people? Full, right? We all say full. We'd, we're worried if there's only one person in there or if it's empty, right? Here's the thing. You're not going to be able to buy every single property that I send your way. Just like you're not going to be able to buy every single property that another realtor sends your way. So what is, what's the deal? Well, you may have bought one already and you're in the middle of fixing it or you're trying to get tenants in or you're trying to figure out more financing or doing something else. Unless you've got unlimited access to financing, you're probably, and then trying to keep track of it all. I mean, there's just so many things. Everybody's gonna be in a different position. Maybe you're on vacation, maybe you're doing something else, all kinds of different things, right? So don't worry about that. The best opportunities come by about once a week. I heard somebody say that one time, that the deal of a lifetime comes by about once a week. Is that absolutely true? I don't think he meant that. I think what he was saying is, there's lots of opportunity that's out there. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna put Realtor on here. Okay, Realtor, number one. Number two, you need to make sure that you got your financing in place, all right? Whether it's a banker or a mortgage broker or whatever it is. Uh, or a realtor who can spell finance. <laughs> you need to have financing in place. And that's something we're gonna talk a lot more about down here. All the different kinds of financing that can be actually a part of it. You need to understand if you're going through a regular bank or broker, it's gonna be different than getting a single family home that you're living in. Instead of 30 years, you may only get a 20 year amortization. Instead of three or 4%, it may be five or 6% instead of putting down three and a half to 10%, you may have to put down 20 to 30%. Okay, so there are so many other things that are going on. You need to have this plan. You need to have your finance guy on your team. Who else do we need on our team? You know what? We need some of those really smart attorneys, right? Hey, how are you gonna structure this? You're gonna put it in an LLC, an S corporation, a C corporation. Uh, is it going to be a, a a member type of thing? Is it sole proprietorship? How are you going to do it? What vehicle are you going to hold that in? That's an attorney question. Okay, so you got to talk to somebody really smart there too, right? All of these people are smart. The, another one, how about your CPA? I'm lucky. I've got a super smart CPA. If you ever need a reference, I'd be happy to give you uh, my CPA's name. Um, but you gotta have somebody who's super smart out there who can save you money, who can help you understand a lot of these tax savings things that you may or may not know about, right? So we gotta have a CPA. Who else do you really need to have? I would say you need to have a handyman that says handyman. <laughs> My handwriting isn't perfect, but when you create your own, you can, you can spell it better. But handyman, and a handyman, uh, you know, somebody can kind of do all the general stuff, but you also need to make sure you've got your plumbing set up, your electrician set up, uh, the floor installers, kitchens, all that kind of stuff. You need to make sure you've got your team here. 
Because when you're buying investment properties, it's really a business and you really need to be thinking about it as a business. And businesses, the most successful ones, have a team. And for you to be the most successful you can have, while you can do everything on your own, kind of, you're gonna be more successful when you've got your team. So number one, team. Come back again, look for the next one. We're gonna move on to locate and evaluate or our purpose, our management, finance, or tax savings. Stay tuned.